Hello everyone, in this particular video we will be solving one more problem in which we need to calculate the cash flow from operations. So they have given a balance sheet of XYZ Limited and they have given two years data that is 2021 and 2022. So what you want to just understand is 2021 data will become opening balance and 2022 data will be the closing balance. So this you should be knowing. So they have given the capital and liability and they have given the assets. So now let us try to prepare the cash flow statements. So first you all know that we will take all the cash flow from operating activities. First we will take the net profits before tax and extraordinary items. If you see the uh, balance sheet, they have given the profits of two years. 2021 it is 14,100. And 2022 is 17,300. Always you have to subtract closing balance from the opening balance. So closing balance is 17,300 and opening balance is 14,100. When you subtract both, you will get profits for the year. So profit for the year is 3,200. That will be written in the outer column. For this, Whatever the non-operating expenses and non-cash expenses which is debited to P&L account that we should add it here. So for that you need to check the balance sheet. Yes, in the balance sheet you have provision for depreciation. This is a non-operating and non-cash expenditure. So that we will take it into consideration. Same here also opening closing balance minus opening balance. Closing balance is 1400, opening balance is 1000. When you subtract both, you get 400. That we will write it in the outer column. Apart from this, I think there is no any non-operating expenses. Now from this, you have to reduce non-operating incomes or non-cash incomes. So there is no any item as such in the balance sheet. So I will write it as nil. And whatever the balance I will get, that is, 3200 plus 400 that is 3600 will be considered as operating profit before working capital changes. For that we have to do certain adjustment. What is the adjustment? First we need to add the increase in current liabilities and decrease in the current assets. So now let us check each item. Cash, cash Share capital is a capital. Profits made during the year we have taken already. Provision for depreciation is a non-operating expenses. Long-term loan is non-current liability. Trade creditors is current liabilities. Now just check. In 2021, the trade creditors were 6,450. And in 2022, it is 5,300. Whether it is increased or decreased, I'll add one more column here, right side. It is decreased. It is decreased. Okay. Next, we will check outstanding expenses. So, 2021 it was 850. Now it has become 150. That means the current liability is decreased. Next, come to assets. Plant and machinery is non current asset. Stocks is a current asset. So, in 2021 it was 9800. And 2022, it has become 11,300, which means it has increased. Stock has increased. Trade debtors. So, it was 3,950. And in 2022, it became 2,850, which means it has decreased. Okay. Now, come to our format. First, what we will add, write all the increase in the current liabilities. First, let us check whether any of the current liabilities has increased. No, because only two current liabilities we are having and both the current liabilities have decreased. So, ignore that. Next, what you have? Decrease in the current assets. So, let us check the current assets. So, we have two current assets. That is stock and trade debtors. Trade debtors have been decreased. So, we will write that. Trade debtors. So, trade debtors, how much it has decreased? First, it was 3950 and later on it was decreased to 2850 
and it has decreased by 1100 since it is a single item the same amount i will write it in the outer column now opposite to this what is that decrease in current liabilities and increase in current assets first let us see decrease in current liabilities whether any decrease is there in current liability yes there are two current liabilities both have decreased first let us write trade creditors trade creditors how much was the trade creditors it was 6450 and now it has become to 5300 which means it has decreased it is decreased by 1150 next second we have outstanding expenses outstanding expenses it was actually 850 and now it has become to 150 which means it has decreased so that's all about decrease in current liabilities now we need to even subtract increase in the current assets so let us check increase in the current assets we have stock stock has been increased by how much it has increased it was 9800 and it has been increased to 11,300. That means if you subtract both, you will get 1,500. That means it has increased by 1,500. So when you add all these three items, that is 1,150 plus 700 plus 1,500, you get 3,350, which has to be subtracted. Now, from 3,600, when you subtract this 1,100 and 3,350, you will get 1350 that is known as cash flow from operations before tax and extraordinary items from that you have to subtract the income tax paid but in this problem there is no details about income tax so i will write it as nil then you will get the cash flow from operations before extraordinary items from that you have to reduce extraordinary items there is no any information pertaining to extraordinary items so i will write it as nil so the final answer that is net cash flow from operating activities will be 1350 this is how we need to solve this problem this was a very simple problem if they ask they might ask this for section b so hope you have understood this very well if you have any doubts you can ask your doubts in the comment box so that I'll respond to your doubts as soon as possible. Thank you for watching the video. I'll come back with the next video as soon as possible.